you guys ready to see us put airsoft on this? That's what we're doing today. Now look at this. Look how light this thing is. We have a few challenges to put airsoft on this. One is keeping the weight down. This thing is so light because we build it out of foam board. Foam board like you can get at the dollar store. This thing doesn't weigh much at all. All right, so while Chad is figuring out the power issue there, Josh and I have to figure out the power issue here. Now, we are working on making this a kit for you guys with free downloadable plans so that you can go to the dollar store, buy your own foam board, a little bit of plywood, and build this A10 yourself, which is awesome. And we're also working on our own kit, so you can buy this pre-cut from us with our own special foam board that is more durable and also water resistant. I need to cut the head of this warthog off with a giant razor blade so we can figure out how to put this airsoft gun inside. Wow. <laughs> Filled it up with BBs, it's about a thousand rounds in it, so yeah, let's go test it. The hopper doesn't actually run like you think it does. Uh, it's spring-fed, but the spring has to be constantly re-sprung as the gun's normally firing, so there's actually a mechanism that constantly clicks it in normal guns. Well, this isn't a normal gun, so. <laughs> what do you need us to do? I need somebody to pull a trigger. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's Dude. ridiculous. So this could actually like sit right here kind of, couldn't it? Uh-huh. Ooh, yes. It'll be in line. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I did, a, I did a bad thing. There's not a single BB lodged in this. They all went clean through. That's diabolical. <laughs> this is really working out. Yeah, that, that worked out perfect. <laughs> what you looking at? I'm taking a nap, man. <laughs> <laughs> the gun can't be up and down because this comes down too far. It can't do this because the BB's uh, feet in here, so it has to lay flat. Like All right, tray for the airsoft gun is done. This is much more challenging than, it, than the concept may seem. Lots of things to figure out to see if we can even get this thing to work. And I'm glad Chad is handling all that. So in the last day 10 video, he actually used four CPAC motors in the EDF ducts to act as basically a poor man's EDF. The plane did fly, but it didn't have nearly enough power to have a good flying experience. If it wasn't definitely enough power to carry a 14 pounds of airsoft gun, there's no way it would get off the ground. We're gonna go to power pods. So what that's gonna give us the ability to do is have differential thrust, a lot more power to weight ratio, and that's gonna give the A10 plenty of power, but also make it much easier for you guys to build in the future. We're testing things out. This is becoming our Franklin plane. The odds of this crashing gets higher and higher every time. We don't wanna crash our nice gun. So the easiest thing to do is make every main component have its own mass and size, and then we mop that up in there. And that way, if we do crash it, we're out of a bunch of dummy weight or in this case, dead batteries. So this would be completely full up as heavy as she's gonna get. Maybe minus a couple GoPros. All right. That's terrible, but it's on. Here we go. <laughs> what? Yes. It flies! No, oh my oh gosh! My gosh, look at it Bro. go! I was not though. expecting. Not ex though. Dude, not it's flying better. <sighs> Look at it. It's flying a half throttle now. <laughs> With all that weight. We could put an airsoft gun. <laughs> Whoa, that's a roll. <laughs> Did you roll it? Yeah. I was a little worried picking uh, it, it up that it was going to get off the ground, but. Dude, it just launched. Yeah, it came out nice. of my hands. It's Nice right, landing. Yes. Yes. Airsoft, here we come. All right. Version two, now. This is gonna be the maiden, right? I know, that's the, I was just gonna say, that's the nerve wracking thing is like, oh, there's a lot more riding All on this, this one. Time. Part of me, I almost feel like we should glue these wings on to not have a catastrophic not. failure. Oh uh, yeah, you're gonna wanna glue, put some glue in there. <laughs> it's like a giant swatter. I have to see this. Okay, so this is kind of how it works. So BB on one end, 
There's a um, UV light in the other. So as you drop it through, you'll see a flash and it comes out really, really bright. And That's really, awesome. A glowing BB comes out the other. Make tracer rounds. So this pretty much just gets pushed down to the front when the uh, when the nose is on. So it'll shoot glowing tracer rounds. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, Jerry. All right, dude. <laughs> Okay, you ready? Hey, we should just uh, just take a deep, big, deep breath. We don't have time for that. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh, All right. Get your safety gear on. First pass. Whoa, shoot. She lost control. <laughs> oh. No, those popped off nice. No, those not. I mean, battery's out here. Oh, we'll have it back in the air in about 30 minutes. So now I get to build a third giant A10. A10 is done, tank is ready. We are here six in the morning. If there's ever a question about a level of dedication to blow apart a tank with little plastic babies, now you know it. <laughs> <laughs> we are at Edgewater Air Park, the future home of flight test. For those of you who don't know, with the help of our community, we purchased a golf course and that gives us all this space to do crazy projects like this. So thank you all for making this possible. Safety is important. Evic has hooked us up. They have an incredible selection. Look at all this stuff they sent us. It won't hurt if we get hit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> they come in all sizes. I want to do my arms. <laughs> We're about to take the plane up. It's just now light enough that we can see, but we can see the tracers. Yes. Josh is on the A-10 team and we're on the tank team and we're going to be trying to shoot Josh down while he's trying to destroy our tank. Bam, bam. Now, <laughs> Do not do this at home. Yes. We have a disclaimer for you, so here it is. Ow. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit Andrew in the face. We're gonna get this thing in the air. Let's go. Let's go. Dang, dude. That was coming straight at us. That was sketch, but I love it. Straight at oh yeah, this is cool. Look at those beautiful lights. Give me a tank. I don't care, man. That was awesome. Oh, that looks so cool. Go back here with that tank. I got you, Josh. I got you my sight, son. Look at that tank over there. I'm going to get him. Got him? Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> oh, dang. Woo. This is a lot harder than I ever dreamed. Okay, that's it's a lot harder to hit down. than I anticipated. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> oh my god! Are you kidding me right now, Josh Bixler? You're flight of your life. This is awesome. This is amazing. <laughs> I have never seen him fly like this in my entire life. Alright, I'm gonna go low you on. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness! This oh, is man. so cool, man! Dude, you gonna I'm... take down the tank? You gonna <laughs> take down the We're... tank? Those tracers make it possible! <laughs> it's it's Dude, insane so cool. how well you can see those tracers! Go ahead, Josh Victor, bring it on. I'm gonna, we're gonna get you. <laughs> All right, J batteries. And that's what happens when you work really hard and you make crazy things fly. 
Look what kind of damage did we do? We did not hit it much. <laughs> no, no, right here, right here. I, I can see, I can see some little. Here we go, right here. Boom, boom on the wing tip here. The A10 looks good. Let's look, see what Josh did on this tank. It's hard to see. <laughs> did you hit it? <laughs> oh, here's here's some right here. Dude, you blew this out. <laughs> I think it might have just been too far away for the BBs to penetrate. It's amazing how hard this was to hit, even with the tracers. You shot the camera over. Dude, I may have hit that when I crossed over. I thought that this video was going to end with you wrecking into the tank. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought this dude. video was going to end. So at the end of the day, putting airsoft in a plane is a huge waste of time. But what was not a waste of time was flying this awesome A-10 and hopefully bring it to you guys very soon. Well, this was so much fun. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. You guys make this possible. It's great. <laughs> when we hit a million subscribers, this tank goes in the air. Yeah. See you guys next time.